This is our paranormal podcast because this is our paranormal community, and we want to support you here on RU Media Network. We are proud to be sponsored by the Haunted Hensdale House in Hensdale, New York. Here are your hosts, Brian Mersal and Sean Gilmore. Hello, everybody. Happy Wednesday, and welcome to our Paranormal Podcast. I am Sean, your co-host, along with the missing face, Brian. <laughs> well, actually, we see his face, but not his live face. Welcome, we welcome. His... At least he'll always be smiling at us tonight. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome. And, of course, we have two awesome guests. We have Eric McGill and David Wolliver. Um, I do owe uh, Dave uh, an apology <laughs> on, on no, the you an apology. original post and the poster I made. I misspelled his name, so I misspelled his name and the poster. And since I misspelled his name and the poster, it got misspelled literally on everything. Well, else. you he also sent poster. me the poster, and I looked at it, and it looked that's awesome, true. but I didn't pay attention to any words. Apparently, that's that's true. Actually, so. Yeah. That's true. I did. You said, and I quote, where is it? Hold on. Uh, probably like, looks awesome or excellent. Excellent. There you go. Is what it, is what it says. Excellent. <laughs> so, um, and actually here, just because we're in the paranormal and we like to have evidence of everything, we're going to go ahead and do this. Hmm. Uh-oh. So everybody could see right there. The word excellent, and there's the poster. Excellent. <laughs> there we go. Public shaming. <laughs> Just as long as it takes the blame away from me, we're good. Okay, no. we, ta we tag teamed the public shaming <laughs> earlier. It's fine. <laughs> we sure did. Um, so, no, I was just uh, making a joke of it. You got to, you know, we all, we all do these things. It's life, you know. None of us are perfect. We're all humans. Except for Eric. Eric McGill's the ideal. Eric's a machine. He's he's perfection in a human body. Oh, go on, please. You Adonis, you. Mm. <laughs> I got the body of a bronze god, and I'm sitting here with all of you right now. I prefer a bronze Buddha for myself, really, but... A Buddha? Yeah, that's me. Okay. Bronze Buddha. Bronze Buddha. He's a bronze. Buddha. That was after Not I discovered smoking Buddha. Uh, that's after I discovered beer and burritos in college. Oh, nice. Well, here we have history and headlines commenting. He's taking a break and watching us. Hey. So he, I think he came on for you, Eric, because uh, uh, Brian and I, we uh, we do uh, little. Uh, outtakes for them, and uh, um, I think this is the first time he's ever come on. No, well, thank you. Hello, appreciate <laughs> that if it's true, and Sean's not blowing sunshine up places where it normally ought not be. <laughs> well, you know who, who does that, right? Who do you remember when we went and saw John Carroll, or we saw we went and spoke at John Carroll? Oh, with yeah. Vision? yeah. I, I seem to remember meeting a uh, one Brian Mersel there. Oh yes, that is where we met Mr. Mersel at. Yeah, after that, I can't show my face around you. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly, I, I like that. I had that play. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we have Valerie uh, right on. She was on. She sells crystals, guys. You got to go check out her Facebook page. She does live videos. She'll be on live tomorrow night, selling her crystals. Nice. And uh, here is Brian saying sorry. Sorry, everyone. IT issues. It follows us wherever we go. Dave uh, was saying how it follows him and Eric. Well, really, the thing is, is that technology hates me. And uh, so... You know, Sean can close the deal. I, I couldn't seal the deal here with this new camera. It just wasn't working. What is this? What is this link that you sent us here? I don't know. So it could give you a virus. I don't know. Oh crap! I already <laughs> opened it. Um, 
so for all of you that do not yeah, and, uh, know, oh, the deal. I I couldn't seal the deal here with this new camera. It wasn't working. What was that? Somebody's making my ADHD go absolutely insane right now. Maybe a virus. I don't know. Oh crap! Who's who's playing? Who's is that? You, Eric? For all of you that do not know, is that you, Brian? Eric? No, it's not me. Not me. It's okay. I mean, it's just happened. Like IT, like I was saying, IT issues follow us um, wherever we go. It's just that this IT issue is making my ADHD go absolutely apeshit. So I'm okay. to look. I don't have a Facebook. Okay. okay. Open what? anywhere. We're good there. Okay. So, no, it's okay. We're good. Um. Oh, we have Robin Francini on. We have Eric McGill saying hi, Tony. Valerie again telling us about the Echo. Justin Brown's on with us. So, thank you everybody for tuning in. We have a fun show tonight. Um, for those of you who don't know, um, Eric and McGill are both um, documentary editors and creators and they are also our bosses here at ru media so we need to be in our best behavior no i'm kidding fuck that and um they they have our haunted minds um it's a docu-series that they just started they have one from madison seminary go check them out on the youtube um Actually, I put the link on the little ticker on the bottom there. Um, if you could follow those going across the ticker there. Uh, it's a really cool series or good documentary. And um, I know that they probably haven't. They're due for a new one, right? Yeah, if Eric finds all the footage. Yeah, somebody. <laughs> I don't know who lost the, uh, the B-roll stuff. Some of the B-roll. We've got a lot of B-roll. We have some. We have a good portion. But always somebody has to lose it, Dave. I don't know why. I, I, I don't know. Well, I'll, I'll tell you what. From my memories in uh, Ectovision, um, you were able to pull something out of nothing pretty well there, uh, Eric. So, uh, well. Did I say Eric and McGill? I didn't say Eric and David Wolliver. Did I did I misspeak? Oh my god. No, 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 no. Eric and McGill. Did, 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 I, did I do that? I'm no, just not we here. We thought it was <laughs> me, Do you need me to leave the studio? Wrong. And then I I do that. I do apologize. So <laughs> we're here with David Wolliver and Eric, um, no last name, as he is titled here on the show. I wear many hats. I, I got different nicknames. I make him do a lot of stuff. Eric, I am Dr. Czar from the former advisor of JCU Paranormal. Do you remember Dr. Czar? Ooh. Dr. Z. Yes, that Dr. is he. Hey, He's a good guy. Oh, Eric, yeah, everyone's going to call me up for my mistakes. Today is call Sean out for his shitty-ass mistakes day. <laughs> okay. It's just that kind of week, guys. So, um, oh yeah, it's just one of those weeks. Oh, and, and uh, you, Andy R says Eric's camera is foggy. Is he breathing heavy? Uh -oh. uh, he smokes too much. <laughs> <laughs> what are you smoking? Well, is that I, I don't. I don't know what that 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 haze is. Um, it's. I see it. I definitely see it. I tried putting more light on me, but uh, it's probably it's, something on your camera lens. Get some Windex on that. Some rubbing up. I tried. I tried. I probably made it worse. Oh. Well, either way, I mean, we could still see you, and your your mouth is right up on that mic, right where it should be. So. Wow. Right. <laughs> We're gonna make Brian uncomfortable. <laughs> oh no no, not a problem, Paradad. <laughs> Yeah, you know, your guys' shirts almost match. They do. Yeah, but Eric. 
Brian, we could both say that we match too. We're in the same color shirt. I actually have a black shirt and black sweats on. So yeah. Boom. Boom. Mm -hmm. See, we match. Black. You really, uh, you really went all out for this one, Brian. Way to go. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 um, I'm all dressed up in my black tux. So. Oh. I'm not wearing a black tux. I apologize. <laughs> I don't. I don't own a tux. I have to rent a tux whenever I have to. I'm actually in a wedding this year, and uh, they're not making me buy a tux or rent a tux. They're making me buy a suit. They're like, oh, we're not going to make. That's what I did. I went suits. Everybody just got a brand new suit for the year. Well, it's like I don't know. I'd rather rent a tux. I mean, I work from home, so like this is it, guys. This is as fancy as I get. <laughs> Like, you have to show off the fact. Like, like sometimes, like I may not even wear a shirt. Like well, I might go all out. See, I, I I got my Sunday best on right here. <laughs> Dr. Uh, Pepper. Dr. Pepper shirt. So Dr. Pepper. You know what is really good? Dr. Pepper pulled pork. Make it in the Instapot or in the uh, slow cooker. It's really good. That a boy. That's right. So, I'm like, in case you guys know, like, I'm like so out of sorts today. I don't know. Like, this week just has me, like, all messed up. It's been just one of those weeks. I don't know if anyone else is having one of those weeks, but I am. It's been a long week. I'm, it's been a long week. I just feel like I should have just stayed in bed all week. Yeah, our lovely county down here in the Fayette is about to go in the level red. Oh, I'm in Summit. We we are in red. So that's fun. Blech. What's that mean, Dave? Uh, COVID, fun time, happy. Mm, okay. Yeah. Fun time. So we, had a, we had a lovely uh, uh, redneck truck rally. That was a party first and then a truck parade through town for a specific political candidate. Won't say who. We're not here for that on the RU Media Network. There's about 600 people there with no masks and no nothing else. So, okay. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> That'll go. Sure they aren't not. wearing masks. We know which party that is. It's but we don't party. talk about that here. No. Not on the RU Media Network. No. That's not. That's not what we're here for. We're here to talk about spooky shit. There you go. Yes, and also celebrate the uh, recent growth of the RU Media Network. That's yes. something awesome that's happening. Yes, let's hear about this recent growth on the RU Media Network. Eric, you can probably explain the show a little bit better than I can. Well, no, I, I can't. Um, <laughs> it's it's. It's a good show. Uh, Rob Rob Yox is what he goes as on on uh, uh, whatever we're on here, Streamyard. Um, but he has um, a show on Saturday nights now, which I need to go back through and remember all the times and all that fun stuff. Bear with me. Go on to the next thing. I'll come back. Okay. Well, <laughs> as far as recent growth, we have Rob's show, and um, we don't want to say too much about what else is potentially coming. Uh, but it, I think that uh, very soon, uh, you know, our slots are going to get filled up. So, uh, man, if if anybody's listening right now and you're interested in joining uh, the Are You Media Network group and being a part of the family, it's 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 almost now you got to do it now or you're not going to have the the key slots you know you're going to have yeah what we have left and our yeah our our, me, our, our nighttime morning. slots are uh are starting to fill up um mm -hmm. actually i think i think come november like very early november all of our eight to ten Eight or eight to nine, eight to ten slots are going to be full. Oh, Monday through every day else. 
every other day, whatever English I just spoke. Okay. Um, <laughs> anyway, Rob's show, the Full Spectrum Universe. It's a great show. If you missed the debut on Saturday, you can always go back and, and check that out or find him and the show on, on Facebook and go back and listen to some other stuff. Um, I can't say what the next one coming is, but still, if it, like Eric said, feel free to reach out. Um, if you'd like to do earlier times in the evenings or even later times after 10 p.m., hit us up. Yeah, this crackling spots are filling up. I mean, it's it's been crazy. And uh, Rob show, you know, he's a really talented guy. I, I watched his show, you know, a little bit before he came onto the network, and uh, he 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 asked some really good questions. He's kind of a hard hitter, but you know, it's not like he puts you on the spot. He just asks some really good questions. Uh, he has guests on like you guys do, and actually. You know, I told him, you guys like swap kind of guests and everything. That's that's just how we do on the network, go on each other's shows and things like that. A lot of fun. Um, so I'm is looking this, forward to see what Rob's going to do next and what he's going to bring. Is this the full spectrum universe that we're yes. speaking of? Okay. That's really cool. Okay. So here, I'm going to go ahead and do this. And um, that's that's awesome. It's always good to hear about the about new shows coming on and, and having the RU network grow. This is the show here, guys. Um, full spectrum universe. So um, make sure to check it out. Sean with the quick trigger finger on the graphic there. I like oh, I, I just I stole it from your Facebook page. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Best in the business. <laughs> so that's awesome. So you said that there's more people coming, but you can't tell us. Is there any like exclusive like? There's at least one coming um, that I'm finalizing. That'll be next month, and that will be on Monday nights, um, and that that will fill all of the. That, like I said, the 8 to 10 p.m. Eastern time slots. Um, but we're always looking for more creators. I would like to have more people uh, with uh, video content, not just our live shows like this, but documentaries, series, things like that to come on and join the network. We're just looking to give as much great paranormal related content as we can to people. So. So Valerie Wright uh, asks, am I part of the RU Media fam? If you want to be. You know what? I bet if you could figure it out, I bet you could talk to these two nice gentlemen here. I bet you could somehow link uh, at least one of your, your crystal sales on here. I know the Thursday night slot is taken by uh, some show. I don't know. Some some weird goozy guy is a host. Thursday nights because she does her crystals Thursdays and Saturdays. So, but I'm sure you can work something out. I just like to call him the weird geezy guy because it's weird and awkward. <laughs> I was wondering where we went there. <laughs> uh, weird and awkward. I'm good at that. My That's question my would be how would somebody go about getting a podcast if they want one? Just curiously. Like, if, would you reach out to Dave and ask him questions or would a good idea be to reach out to somebody like Sean and Brian and say, Hey, what does this entail? I got this really good idea, but I don't know how to, how to put everything together. Absolutely. Absolutely. All of the above. Um, don't any know of us, I had that rehearsed or something. I don't know. Any of us would be happy to help. If anybody wants to start out a, uh, you can even reach out um, to, um, I know Goose would be happy to help on, um, on oh, why can't I think of his show right now? Cryptic Paranormal Show. Cryptic Paranormal Show. <laughs> I feel like I should just like start drinking and, and smoking uh, again and just be done. <laughs> call it in. Call the night. Who wants to think for me? So I apparently can't do it. <sighs> Eric. Yeah, you are having you are having a rough moment here, pal. 
I'm having a rough night. It's just a rough week. I need to, I need, I need like, see what it is, is this, right? So it's like, it's just like a rough week. And like, I'm like really excited. Brian and I have a really cool investigation this Saturday. Um, and I'm like really excited about it. So like you, and I, I don't sleep well before investigation. So that might be part of it. You know, I'm not getting a lot of sleep. I'm getting excited and stuff. So, but we're, we're going to an old nunnery it's, a, it's an old nunnery and it's okay. a school and i think it's only been investigated one time before us so this is this is virgin territory here and and i this is this is my this is my cup of tea right here this is what it's all about so, so i was doing tours at madison seminary last weekend and you know I, you know how it is you haven't done a tour in a while you forget the history um so basically what the tour guides there do inside joke we don't really do this but if we can't remember the answer to a question we always say that it took place around the turn of the century <laughs> <laughs> but uh i had trouble remembering the history so what i did was i brought my digital audio recorder and i'm like so we can either do this uh really boring lame history lesson or we can do this really awesome ghost and uh <laughs> here and Everybody's like, yeah, yeah. So I brought out the digital audio recorder, and um, I'm doing uh, live EVP sessions, and everyone's having a blast. Um, it, but the funny thing is I, I told one of my uh, paranormal investigating stories, and Sean, you'll remember this. Uh, you remember when we were in that uh, house in Akron, and we were down in the basement, and I started screaming because uh, – Something grabbed your ass. Yes, that one. <laughs> I'll tell, I, I, I was telling everybody that story when we were down in the basement at Madison Seminary where the women get touched. So I'm like, hey, you know, I can relate to being touched, at, you know, in an inappropriate, you know, way. And I was talking about the naughty bits and everything. And the only thing I remember about it is that it felt like, uh, like a water balloon or something grabbing my buns. <laughs> <laughs> A water balloon. Ooh, Aaron. Aaron says that was her. All right. Oh, hey, Valerie. Okay. Val Valerie's giving hints about our new show coming next month. Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> no, she's fine. Who's Melissa? Don't worry about it yet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then. Melvin. Melvin. See Melvin. Melvin. Awesome. He's. <laughs> He says, I think it's an important thing to note that when it comes to doing a podcast or anything, really, the first episode is going to suck. It's basically the rite of passage. Luckily, it's a lot of people out there who will guide and help someone build things up. The number one thing is just to go for it and have fun, and the rest will come naturally. Thank Melvin, you, you are 100% right about that. Let's, let's talk about my first episodes. Oh, my goodness. And, and Melvin should be on the network. He yes. Hey, 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 Melvin. Hey, Melvin. Hey. Message, message Eric and I because we really want you to come over and do some things. Hey, Melvin. Hey, Melvin. <laughs> <laughs> he is such a cool customer. He oh, he asked. Oh, Melvin. He, he does. I, I love it when he's in the chat because I know he's going to come up with something good. Yeah, he's gonna he's gonna blow all of our minds here in a moment. He is. You know what else is great? Brian, you got to let us know when you're ready. He's come up with a new segment for the show. Have you guys seen it? Uh -oh. oh, is that the uh, the games thing you guys are doing? It's the, he calls it the Into the Abyss, right? And so we're bringing back the old podcast name, Into the Abyss. Go. And he asks burst questions, 13 burst questions to each of our guests. Uh -huh. okay. And they're Fantastic questions, and it's a lot of fun. So wow, I, I, I just gonna, put you on the spot. We're gonna be hitting them at nine p.m. Nine p.m. Oh man, top of the hour on the dot. Yeah. All right. Hey, also, I love your guys' video game thing. I thought that's where you, that's where you're going with that. If you guys ever wanted to actually stream that, I will find a good time for you guys to stream that because that is absolutely hilarious. There is a game. That I was talking to Brian about. There is a game, and um, 
it's like para something and you're some random ghost hunters i didn't look into it because i want to be just you know completely surprised but apparently you know sean's been doing the research and i didn't do it i i i I watched a video yeah no 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 no. you're not spoiling it all i know the ghost hunter the only clip i saw is someone walking around with like a k2 meter or something yeah, I was like, I, I didn't think anyone actually knew how to how to use like a K2. It's going to be so hilarious. But, um, <laughs> the, you know, there's a lot of magic that happens when we're both in the same room. <laughs> um, so it's um, going to be a little interesting, uh, you know, having it like uh, it would be live, but it would be um, like online or something like that. But, uh, yeah, it'd be real cute. Real mm-hmm. cute. I need to get this camera to work first before we uh, <laughs> before we do something else. Well, he he does use the uh, old system that we used before Streamyard, which I absolutely oh OBS. Like. Uh, you said it. <laughs> ops. <laughs> Speaking of ops, I realized something today. Our show. Our paranormal podcast. That's OPP. We need to start getting people to say you down with OPP. <laughs> yeah, that's that. Because I'm I'm down with the OPP. Yeah, you know me. Hey, remind me. Two, one three LBC. <laughs> remind me, I'll make a shirt of that too. Nice, <laughs> nice. So that is actually a, a link that uh, here I'm gonna. Mm-mm-mm. Look what we have. Look at that. That is our paranormal podcast merch right look there. At, look at that. Look T-shirts, up. hoodies, and stickers. Look at that, guys. Stickers. And wow. here is the link. And if so, Steve, if Steve Brought is actually watching the show, I beat your stickers by ninety nine cents, buddy. I'm sorry. Oh, boom! <laughs> uh, Facebook does not like the link. Uh-oh. What? You know what, Facebook? Let's let's keep our opinions to ourselves about this. <laughs> yeah, I, I was. I absolutely love the storefront. I went and bought an Into the Abyss sweatshirt, and then when I was billed, it billed me for two. Oh, no. <laughs> so now oh, I no. have two. And then, of course, Sean switches the name on me, so now I'm going to have to you know, get another two sweatshirts just to match my other two. And <laughs> You guys are killing me for money here. Brian, well, send me your – are we friends on Facebook? Add me on Facebook and send me your ad- mailing address, and I'll make up for at least one of those. You don't want to make up for him. <laughs> but I will definitely add you. I don't have we ever met in person? I don't think we have. I don't think we have. We either. talked on the when I was on the uh the Madison Seminary phone line, we talked a few times. Mm-hmm. Oh, Valerie, don't worry about it. It's not hush hush. She said she commented here. Oh, I didn't realize it's talking. kind of an inside joke with anyone related to Resident Undead that it just why do we come on? Why do we come on shows when we can't talk about it? <laughs> You're not allowed. <laughs> oh, Melvin said it's all part of the plan. That's right. It's 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 all part of the plan to make you uh, support our U Media Network even more. I know this is this is this is wonderful. I need I need more stickers though. Not that you could see them right now, but I'm gonna have to get a bunch of stickers. Decorate the entire office here. Look what I got. I got a sticker from Into the Abyss. There you go. And I got I got two t-shirts for Into the Abyss. One gray, one black. Um, so I'm right there with you. I got two me. black. <laughs> <laughs> I love that picture of Brian that's just stuck up on the screen. <laughs> I know. It's like it's like that that like that motivational <laughs> speaker stalker dude. It's hilarious. I love it. Did I nail it? Almost. You gotta have a, more teeth. <laughs> this is this is perfect. Oh, poor Brian. No, 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 no. I, I I brought it upon myself once I was fiddling around with this for twenty minutes. I knew I was gonna get the abuse. Yeah. That's I respect well. it. 
I, I, I finally believe that um, I'm not the only one that God hates. Thank you so much for this opportunity, Brian. This is amazing. So what I would like to do right now is, I mean, we, we don't have the time to play your full documentary, but <laughs> we can play it. Into- oh, we, are we just going to play it and then do a director's commentary or something? Yes, yeah, we're just going to talk about it, and then we're like, so this is, this is what I, we're I have thought to. about doing that. We've talked about doing that uh, for uh, Resident Undead the past. Um, we've just never had the time to actually do it, so... I'm going to go ahead and do this. Ah, the good old promotional video. Yes. Oh, wow. This is like Stranger Things. Eric made so many cool videos leading up to the release of the first episode. I made two of them. <laughs> Dan, that the next one is the one coming up. Actually. Oh, we'll, we'll just play. It. Why not? Oh, absolutely. This one has a. This one's close to my heart. I'm a huge Marvel fan. Nice. And also Thanos and the Hulk and who whatever else people are gonna call me. Yeah. This is a tribute to the whole plan. Yeah, Dave and I wanted to kind of do something and kind of showcase everybody right quick and uh, thought this would be a cool way to kind of, because, you know, it's one of the things that we compare, like an inside joke, we have Avengers names, so we yeah. thought, well, it'd be cool to use uh, and incorporate the Marvel thing in with one of our promos, so. Oh, oh, so do you do you have a superhero name? Yeah, I am Groot, and <laughs> oh, <you're> Groot? <laughs> it's not what I heard backstage, but okay. Yeah. Whoa, nice. That was a good one. I love um, it. No, uh, Dave is the Hulk. The uh, Hulk. Oh. Yeah, he's yep. the Hulk. Hulk smash. When we first started out the network, I turned into Thanos, just yeah. collect, collecting the Infinity Stones. Yeah, I thought that's what you were. I thought you were Thanos. <laughs> I had to switch back. I can't snap anymore. I had a. I've, uh, I've stolen <laughs> enough. Uh, <laughs> I'm like I, I have a picture of a Wolliver, Wolliver. Wolliver. We had I had one of you with the with the. The, the glove. Which so Eric I, also made, which I mm-hmm. died laughing. I had to shut my door at work when he sent that to me. <laughs> I, can't, I can't find it now. It must be on the laptop. My crap top. Because it's not here. Yeah, that was That's a good one. Good. Oh, Melvin has a good question over there. Yes, he does. I was gonna... I got distracted. Sorry, ADHD. So, um, he wants to know... When can we expect more Our Haunted Minds? And what changes can we expect to see if there is more Our Haunted Minds? Soon and much better audio. (laughs) Yeah, much better audio, hopefully. Uh, I am so in the process of trying to get back into the process of editing, but uh, it's been really difficult working some very long hours and... uh, you know, this is boom season at uh, Madison Seminary, so there's there's a good chance that I'll be spending some time out there. We gotta definitely take care of home base. Uh, well, now we got two home bases. We got Fairfield County Infirmary, and we have Madison Seminary. So uh, we're gonna be uh, all up and uh, about there. So, uh, mm-hmm. but yeah, I, I'm gonna get back into it when I'm not losing B roll and stuff. So, um, yeah. Have Adam check the camera, whatever cameras he has, because um, I'm sure that's 
probably the one. <laughs> I, think, I think it's on an SD card that he was using, and he might have dumped it onto a laptop. I do need to do need to ask him about that. So. I, I do want to say hello to anonymous YouTuber. That's pretty awesome. I never knew that that was the thing. Yes. So hello, anonymous. Um, I've heard of anonymous, not anonymous YouTuber. So that's cool. Sorry. So so Eric, when can people come and have you give them a tour of Madison Seminary? I'm assuming this is a flashlight tour. Yeah, flashlight tours are going to be happening in October a lot. A lot. We have a lot of guests come through on a. In October, it's it's so crazy busy. Uh, it's like standing room only kind of busy. And I know, and it's unfortunate, but you know, there's a lot of people who come out and they don't get to come in right away because of the capacity and everything, and they gotta wait. But it's well worth it, honestly. You 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 guys know you've been there. It's it's an amazing place, mm -hmm. and probably will have an experience even on a flashlight tour when there's tons and tons of people there. Hey, hi, Kathy. Kathy. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be a really busy. <laughs> I have no affiliation with the group of arms. Good night, Kathy. Good uh, night, Kathy. Well, here we go. Whatever you guys are, I'm gonna do reviewing it. Aha! Uh -huh. Ooh, he's a Crimson Star rating system now. Ooh, there we go. Ooh, I want to hear more anger. about that. Because uh, actually, um, Melvin did review. Our haunted minds, and he did a phenomenal job. He hit every yes. um, point that Dave and I had discussed, uh, kind of privately. You know, he, he honed in on some of the things. He hit all of our insecurities. He made us cry a little bit. Um, oh my goodness! So he, he did. He dug right in. He he held nothing back. But you know what? You know, though he, he does it respectfully. He, he keeps it real, and he oh, does yeah. it respectfully. Yeah. I mean, and and honestly, he uh, there's there's been. Uh, times when he's he said what others were thinking and no one else said so i mean it, it's a uh, you know it, it's it's a tough job but i mean you're gonna give uh honest feedback and that's the only way people are gonna learn so i think yeah, that, exactly yeah. yeah and we got a lot of great feedback for our haunted minds for the first episode which was good you know you, you kind of expect your first go out to hit some mixed reviews but ours ours turned out pretty well yeah. Ooh, Aaron Kasmarsik wants to come and grab your ass for real. Yeah. Eric, and uh, go on a flashlight tour. And uh, how how can people... Oh my goodness. <laughs> well, she commented earlier that that was her that did it when... It... Oh, yeah. I was I was going... In, in yeah, Florida. yeah. How much how much would that flashlight tour cost? Jeez. I, I don't... Play your know. cards right, it'll be free. Oh. <laughs> 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 Boy, are my cheeks all red all of a sudden. Um, Aaron, I don't know the answer to that. I'm embarrassed. I just show up and do what I'm told. Most of the time, I'm uh, I show up late, and uh, Ashley or uh, somebody at the desk will tell me you're taking this tour, and I run over and I start doing my song and dance. So. Uh, but I think it's just come on in right now. Or is yeah, it I'm not sure. Um, go we to go over to the um, time. go go over to the Madison Seminary Seminary Facebook page, Aaron. Yep. Um, and just check. I'm sure they've got the events posted. Um, I'm not sure if some of them are pre-sale or not. So you'll have to just go check the page and and see what they're saying. Yeah, there could be a thing. <laughs> Aaron. <laughs> Good thing I've known Aaron for uh, like my entire life. So, oh, oh good. Okay. Yeah, I've known her a long time. Yeah, she looked entirely different this last time I saw her. Uh, at first, I had to scratch my head a second. And I was like, "Oh, it's Erin." Yeah, she's right. looking good. Yeah, she's looking real good. So, it was good to see her at Madicon. That was that's when I saw her. Yeah, that's when I saw her too. That's awesome. So, real quick, guys, if I can, I promised my friend Vicky that I would play something. Of course, this is with our uh, tied in with our sponsor from Hinsdale House. Okay. Um, real quick, I just want to do this. And um, she put together... Okay, so last week I um, plugged that they had Nick Groff at the Hinsdale House and they were doing a special experiment. Well, uh, Vicky 
put together a um, a video here, and she is going to offer, or she is offering, through Ghost Cam, and we had her on talking about Ghost Cam, um, and so she's gonna. Here, I'm just gonna play this, and uh, then I'll, I'll explain a little bit more because I'm kind of stumbling. So here we go. Oh, I probably forgot to push the button. Hold on a second. In order for sound to work, I have to push the allow sound, and I probably forgot to do that. So hold on a second. I'm smart. <sighs> it's just one of those days. Sorry. My face is my uh, face is still smiling over here. I know. I like patiently it. waiting. I can I can do no <laughs> wrong today. As long as that face is smiling at me, I'm feeling good about what I'm doing. I'm feeling good about myself. That's so the I'm crazy girl. You're absolutely I'm smart right. enough. That's what I can, enough. I can, I can, Gosh, reach, I can reach up and over to the square and act like I'm tickling it. <laughs> He's oh, just wow. so happy. Oh, oh, thank goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's butt's getting grabbed tonight. Yes. Did you feel it? <laughs> Too much. <laughs> Too much feels. Can you feel it, Mr. Krabs? <laughs> oh, that's cool. So, oh, we didn't want to watch the five G conspiracies coming up next. Uh, oh, Dirt Town. <laughs> What's going on right now? <laughs> Let's go. It's still playing, but it's off. Is anyone else hear that right now? No. no. Oh my goodness, I'm losing my mind. <laughs> Absolutely losing my mind. Okay, so Ghost Cam is a really cool. Thing that Vicky does, um, she does it at several locations. Hinsel House being one of them, where you can actually, for a hundred dollars, purchase all the footage from all the security cameras that are HD, um, and so that way you're being filmed and you get to keep the footage and you have the right to all that footage. It's only a hundred dollars. Now I'm going to announce here: me, well Brian and I, are going to Hinsel House, and yes. we're going with Mike Ricksecker, and. There you go. Yep, and we're gonna go. We're gonna investigate. I'm getting ghost cam, um, and I'm I I don't know who's gonna help me review all the cameras that are there, but uh, I'm I'm gonna do that, and because uh, I think it's cool. It's like it's like re Eric. Remember all those cameras that we used to set up for? Oh yeah. oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's like that, but without the work of setting up the cameras. <laughs> well, that's cool. That's what I'm thinking. So. I don't yeah, it's gonna be a good time. Yeah. It, it's uh, it's booked for what next week or? Uh, it's next year. Yeah, I know. <laughs> we had a book so far out; it was oh, insane. Every weekend is booked, so we're going in the spring. And I didn't want to go in the winter. That's so. It's partially my fault. So I didn't want to drive in the snow, especially since it's like through the mountains and all that. So yeah, you get pumped because it it says October, but it's actually like twenty twenty three. So <laughs> it's it's um it's April twenty twenty one. You guys ever try and read those online calendars that are like always for some reason inaccurate for those haunted locations you're trying to go to? <laughs> we would we would budget out when I was the president of that um of that college group. We go and we budget and we get you know like a couple thousand dollars and we'd be doing the research in all these different locations and 
you know, the online, you know, websites never worked. You called in and it, it was just a tremendous mess. I don't know if you guys ever experienced that. Okay. Never, really. Yeah. Never <laughs> mess the seminary though. That was, that was always spot on. We, um, we got in when you were allowed to stay the night and yeah. I don't know, I don't know how early that was, but we had a back to back. It was our first back to back and our first overnight. So we back to back overnighted, and uh, it was that was, I think that was shortly after, uh, not too long after we got the place, but before the township came in and laid Thor's hammer on our chest. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. All that fun stuff happened, I think. So Brian, yeah. you slept there. What room did you sleep in? Um, I. Both times I slept in, I think it was like Sarah's room or something. Ooh. It's where all like the, the dolls were set up, and it was directly across from the Blair Witch room. Keep that up there for a while. The ponies <laughs> on that guy. <laughs> the ladies love Eric. Eric's butt. The Eric, guys, kinda... guys, I've grabbed it. I don't know what you're talking about. You were. I know you're not skipping leg day, but like, tell us, tell us, like, what's the routine? Are you doing like some CrossFit workouts? Like, are you squatting heavy? What are we doing? What what day? Leg day, you know, because he's getting oh, his butt Brown ready. Says that they're gonna be at Gettysburg. Oh, Gettysburg. um, that's the same day as FCI, FCI icon, and I was giving Justin a hard time. Oh no, that's not on the same day. It, well, I know. No, but Justin thinks that sauce. it is, so yep. he will be sauce. there. Lame sauce. That's all I can say about that. Yeah. Some people Sad, do. Sadly, there's only so many weekends that we get to choose from that we That's have true. nothing happening. So yeah. That's true. That's true. We're gonna we're gonna bump heads. We're gonna, you know. It's it, you know, sometimes sometimes there's there's some competition. You know, so do you, you will be missed, Justin? But you will be at MadCon once again, or know. else. You <laughs> forgot the or else. Our paranormal plans on getting a table at MadCon. Correct. That would be a good time. Yeah. Nothing but trouble. Yeah, we need to get we need to get some signage made. Yeah. Hey, so do I. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to get one of those cute little canvas prints to bring with Sean because, you know, I can't be showing my face around you guys. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, we're, we're with Brian Mace. Oh, my God, no, I can't say your name. Uh, Mersol. We'll be wearing okay, okay. Brian Mersol mask. Um, It'll be like cut out. There was, there was a Jack Sparrow I want, I want cut a out. Rubber. I want a rubber mask, though. I don't, I don't want like some oh. hardcore. I want a rubber okay. mask. And I want, I want. But so I, we're gonna make a cast of your head. Yes. <laughs> okay. Wait a second. What? What? Uh, <laughs> like, like face. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, the face. No, the yeah, other head, yeah. dude. No. Yeah. Listen, I, I don't. <laughs> I don't do those plaster casts. I, I, <laughs> I, I, I outsource that. Our U Media's got to make their uh, make their profits somehow, and and this got the best margins, man. I'm, I'm telling you. Good. Um, what uh? What happened to the Jack Sparrow cutout at Madison Seminary when we went? That probably went home with Addie. I think that was hers. Gotcha. We should we she had us all sign it and oh nice and all that fun stuff. Wow. Melvin wants to know why do you guys think Madison is so active? Not only active, but seems it's a different experience each time someone visits the place. There are just so many layers to Madison. Um, it's hard to say 100%, you know, one thing or another when it comes to the hauntings there. Um, but I think different people, different people coming in on a nice, you know, rotating schedule, I think it affects the haunting in a way that where 
depending on the group or depending on the individual, I think it just hits people a little bit differently. Like I think, I think it's, it's one of those things almost like I feel like the building judges the people that are in it and, and goes from there for the night. <laughs> that's, that's just my take on it. Well, you know, this is interesting when Sean and I, went to Madison Seminary for the first time back when the castles owned it. And actually, Dave, when uh, Resident Undead went before Adam owned it, we both, all, all of us agree, it had a different feel, right? Yep. So I think that um, over time, the ha I guess if, if you want to call it the haunting, it, it's changed. Um, the energy that the Mad Crew has brought in there, all the positive uh, vibes, the hard work they're putting into it, if there's a such thing that we could prove as an intelligent spirit and it's present at Madison Seminary, which we kind of all believe that this is a very distinct possibility, it's taking notice of all of the love and hard work that's going into keeping that building there. And I think the energy, if it's negative or was negative, it's either suppressed or it's changed. Now, if you think about it in these terms, like, depending on who's there and what mood they're carrying in. If you're the kind of person that is affected by moods, say you're a spirit, that could change the haunting. Um, the level of energy um, any given day that's just out there available for a spirit to tap into, that could affect how the feeling is. It, it, there's so many variables in this unknown. So it's like, it's really hard to, really hard to tell but you know the one thing that i think we all agree upon is that when we first went into madison seminary it was god awful feeling yeah the first time i went in i think it was 2000 it was either 2011 or 2012 it was it was a scary place it was scary yeah. these days it, it almost feels like a home to me i can go in before like i would have never wandered through madison seminary by myself at any point now I feel probably the most comfortable I have felt at any haunted location. Really? At Madison. I and mean, that's just crazy, things, and... crazy things still happen there, obviously. But it's not that overwhelming sense of like something's coming to get you. Yeah. And yeah. then the whole unknown factor. It yeah. was menacing. But, um, Sean, you remember what happened after the investigation. You as an empath, the energy you felt and how it affected you. Yeah, that's uh, I, it's actually not something I'll ever forget. I mean, that's yeah. the way that, that I was affected. I mean, we were all affected. Um, and um, we, we had somebody there also who, who was kind of egging that energy on, too. Um, but was, I think he was affected. That, what's that? He was affected. Oh, yeah, I was gonna say, but I think a lot of that is from him being affected. Yeah. Um it yeah, and then it it, it it continued to follow me and for a while. And like I, I always tell everybody, like so I went there and I was deeply affected. I, I literally cussed Eric out after the investigation. I was just angry. Um and I I don't know, I was just affected by that. And it's um and then so I I was I ended up I was eating a combo. I chipped a tooth. <laughs> I chipped a tooth eating a combo. And so then I had to go to the dentist. And so then on the way from my dentist, all right, my car, brand new alternator. Okay. We're a new freaking alternator. It died on the way back from the dentist. I was stuck on the side of the freeway. Brand new alternator. I had to get I had to then replace a new alternator. With a new alternator. No, it's not a rebuilt alternator. This is a brand new alternator. I was like, you know what? I don't want to rebuild alternator. I want a brand new alternator because I love my. I love that car. Oh, I I missed that car. That I remember when it died. I was. I, it died going to the movies with Eric. I was going to meet Eric at a movie theater, and it, it overheated. I was so sad. And it was a it was a Mitsubishi Montero Sport. I loved that truck, man. That's <laughs> awesome. Um, but uh, yeah. And it was just like that whole week. Like I literally um, saged and uh, I saged every single day after that. Actually, more than that. I saged every single day 
on my lunch breaks after work, like three, two, three times a day for a he week to get so. back to normal. And I was saying so. my prayer. And so I was saging, I was cleansing, and I was just doing uh, it literally, like literally two, three times a day for a week straight before I was back to normal. Yeah, I remember when I was there, uh, I was affected. I, I know that I had a little bit of a short temper uh, during the investigation. I could see it on camera. Uh, it was pretty pretty prevalent throughout the team. Uh, I know. remember when Tom, he was, he was affected while he was there and for days afterwards. Yeah. This was not your typical... Uh, typical place to go and investigate. Well, this was above the norm. It was. We how, were how it affected you. I remember we were up in the um what area was that in? Where I was filming you and you you were you were having your experience. Yeah. And I was filming you and you were hearing something. I was just getting angry. Me too, by the like, way. Like, Did you hear that? I'm like, no, dude, what the frick are you talking about? I was getting like so angry. Like, what the hell? And I just remember like getting so angry. And so then then finally that that whole thing ended. That and then and then on top of that, freaking yo, dude, you're like debugged, debugged. I was yeah. like, oh my god, like like it was just like like I couldn't get more frustrated. And then and then the, then breakdown time came. I'm like, where the hell are they? I'm like, why are they taking so long breaking down? I never once cared in my life about how long it took to break down ever in my life. But for some reason, this night, it mattered to me. Like, yeah. why are they taking so long? They should be taking this long. Oh, I just get so angry. Oh, my God. Yep, I, that oh, I'm so good. glad we can laugh about that now because that was just so ridiculous. Good times. Uh-oh. You know, Aaron wants to know, but... Did you grab the butt? Who? Aaron wants to know. The butt, Eric. When he the was butt. filming you and your experience, and uh, Don, did you grab his butt? I, 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 I'm sure it occurred. At, I'm, I'm sure you did at some point in the night. We should have been playing a little grabby uh, at that uh, at that township zoning meeting that night, guys. <laughs> maybe with they maybe they would have passed that night. They would have. We just. Yeah. Grab each other's butts and yeah. start screaming, We win, oh. we win. <laughs> so you guys partially befriended the location. Yeah. Hey, bring up Justin's comment actually yes. one more time. He says, despite what some people have said about Madison Seminary, there is a specific energy signature at Madison Seminary that sensitive people and psychics pick up on and can cause various things to happen. I contribute it to Rebecca Kirschbaum's energy work. But that's strictly my opinion. Now, here's the thing. Absolutely. I I agree, but what we're talking about is different. What what what's awesome is so so the mad crew came into this building when we were there and when all this was happening, the building was in is a very, very sad state. There is even we couldn't even go down in the basement level because there was so much black mold. And um it was just in such a sad state, and the, the building was in disrepair. And and I think that a lot of that just it, it affected whatever was there. And then the Mad Crew came in and they fixed it up. And 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 it's lighter now. It is lighter. It's it's not. There is definitely that whatever was there is still there. And I still to this day do not go into the um. What do you guys call that section? Asylum. Area? The asylum area. I still to this day. Do not go into the asylum area without asking for permission to walk through that doorway. Yeah. Because of my experience. And I notice that it feels different when I do that. Like, I'll feel something at that doorway, and then I'll say, is it okay if I come in? And it feels different, just for showing it that sort of respect. So whatever was there is still there, but it's not as negative, or maybe it's not as angry as it was. Because Maybe it's got to be because the the... The I mean the building is just feels better. I mean the the energy, the love that was literally put in the building. The mad crew literally with the work that they do, they're not just fixing it up, they're putting their their love into it. I always talk about Jeff Fent's boxes and how he how his boxes are so amazing because of what he puts into it. He literally puts his heart and soul into it. And that's what the mad crew does for Madison. They put their heart and soul 
into it. Everybody that goes in there. I would and helped clean up uh, before MadCon this year. And it was it was just so cool to see the mad crew and be a part of the mad crew doing that and putting that love into the building and making the building um what it is today. So it's really cool. Yeah, uh, you know, when we do investigations or we have tours and I'm in the building and it's quiet, you know, and all that, uh, I find myself at a disadvantage when I'm thinking in terms of uh, kind of like putting my mind in the place of like a psychic or a sensitive because I don't I don't pick up on those sort of things. I'm the kind of guy that can walk into a cold room and tell that it's cold. You know what I'm saying? So like with Justin, what he's saying is, He's seeing that um, the work, the energy work that Becca has done, uh, he sees that. That and is that, in no way demonic. <laughs> except for that shuffleboard. Just so we know. All that, that shuffleboard, that shuffleboard, man. <laughs> that shuffleboard is evil. I, I, I got, I got a, tour, I got a pe people on the tour about that. They pointed to it and they said, look, there's a, uh, what is that? And I said, well, that's a demonic symbol right there. Didn't you know? i tell you what, last time it, something grabbed my foot from under that thing and said, you should have landed on 10. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I heard something like some that. But people. I had to play it back. Just, Justin, Justin some, some people. Yeah, <laughs> I see you. I see you, Justin. <laughs> uh, oh, Holly with the zinger, too. I, I love it. Oh, and yes, the I see Holly's comment about the boiler room area down past the boiler room toward the uh, the laundry wing. I still have a hard time going down there after uh, the Resident Undead episode, the last time we filmed, and uh, also our haunted mines. Um, that area is still very, very heavy to me, and it still affects me. Um, so I just don't like going over there very much. But um, you know, it is what it is. Yeah, so you were very much affected in that area by, was it the the woman? Do you believe? What do you believe that was? I think it was partially that, um, and partially just the just the overwhelming idea of, like during our episode, you know, spoiler alerts for anyone who hasn't watched it yet. If you haven't watched it, you're wrong. You should go watch it. Right. Um, it was just the the anger of it all like we're we're trying to figure some things out and see who's doing what who and whatever else and it's just like there's this guy or some semblance of an energy that is only concerned about getting paid even though there's a girl that's now dead but there's no care about that it's just about the money and that just that hit me a lot harder than i expected it to mm -hmm. um and the the dots started kind of filling in a little bit more after the resident undead episode and then it, like the the hammer came swinging and and bent the nail when it came to the our haunted minds episode and it was just one of those things that i was so angry i was very uh sad for this woman who you know possibly spent some time there mm -hmm. um and it was just it was just kind of overwhelming i if I, I had to walk away from it that, that seemed like a very very powerful oh, experience yeah yeah, yeah i've worked with Dave for a long time and i've never seen him uh kind of seeing him seeing him act like that or kind of react like that was a little scary for me you know because he and I, I mean, I, I don't consider myself a sensitive or a psychic or anything like that. So when somebody's feeling emotions like that, it really, it, it does kind of scare me a bit because I don't understand it. It's all part of it, though. You got to You got to go through it. And uh, it happens. So and, and it happened that night for sure. Yeah. And it's sadly, it happened again at our next episode i think we've told everyone we uh, obviously we went to fairfield county infirmary for episode number two um and that actually ended up tying back to the ru episode two years ago from from fairfield county infirmary we've got a new ru episode coming 
from FCI uh, that's on the editing room, all that kind of stuff. But uh, it ended up tying back, and there was just a whole new layer of of things that kind of came out and punched me square in the mouth, so to speak. So, yeah, look it, for it that. <laughs> very intense. In fact, uh, Becca said it was uh, the third scariest uh, thing that she had experienced on an investigation. Uh, so it was it was kind of uh, for me it was probably the scariest uh, thing that I had experienced. And uh, it, you know, it, it kind of all started with uh, what we do with the experiments and everything. We hit one pretty good. Becca walked in and she goes, what the heck did you guys do? It was that powerful what we had done. Um, so uh, from there, uh, we just kind of kept it going. You know, we, we didn't stop. We kept pushing forward and um, I, I feel like Dave kind of paid the price for it in a sense. And, uh, and you know, but basically it trickled down and we all ended up kind of experiencing that that fear uh, it was pretty it was pretty intense yeah their fear is the right word there there was a massive amount of that when we were filming it at fci really that, that place hits different i'll tell you that i don't walk, i after that experience i'm a little bit more okay walking through fci but there are still times that unless i absolutely have to i don't walk in that building by myself I can't bring myself to. So I've never been there. I need to go. What's it like? Yeah. Yeah. It can it can get gnarly. It can get gnarly very fast. Yeah, I, I'll tell you, it, it's it's similar to um, to how Madison Seminary used to feel, but I don't I, I don't know if Becca plans on going in and doing energy work or if she already has. Uh, I haven't uh, really. It just hasn't come up yet as far as uh, when she and I have talked, but uh, I know that we're, you know, the FCI crew is down there putting in hours and Adam is as well, working really hard, uh, trying to get things uh, going with the tours and everything. It's, but, but I'll say it feels, it almost feels like a, like a funeral home almost. And even, I don't know how to explain it. Like, well, Sean, is it you, there, you would is know. It Feel. Is it there uh, uh, an area where where the dead bodies were were kept? Is not there like a morgue yeah, there? There is a there is a morgue at FCI. So uh, that, might be, that might just be my own brain trying to place something, you know? Because I'm not psychic or sensitive. I just know I, I've had experiences there uh, that were pretty weird. Pretty weird. I'm just gonna say it. And that's that's outside of uh, doing our our investigations. You know, you're just there, and weird stuff happens. Yeah, FCI is very, it's it's different. Um, there is the morgue in the in the basement level, um, where there's any number of rumors or stories of how bodies were kept and where they were kept exactly down there. Um, we do have the cemetery up on top of the hill with at least i think it's 1200 confirmed bodies um and only i think there's only three actual marked grave sites and then they have the one monument for everyone else but we are you know 90 to 95 percent sure that there are more bodies outside of that that squared off section where the cemetery is uh, wow. Actually, the uh, the Tennessee Boys Gateway Paranormal um, were actually just out, and uh, they put up a nice memorial up on the other side of the hill uh, to those people, uh, which is pretty cool to see. Um, but even like when I go there to do yard work or anything else, there are just certain sections of the property that you go across that I did like once mowing the yard out by the White House. On, on the other side of the of the property, I hit a certain section of, of of the property and just got instant goosebumps, like somebody was like starting to chase me or something. 
And Ooh, that, that, fight that, fight that, that yeah, that ha then that happens al along the property. It's not just the building. It's it's everywhere. It's literally everywhere. So guess who our guest is? Our guests are next week. There they are, the boys. That's right. Next week. So we have yes. that. That's right. Gateway Paranormal. So uh, they they just filmed there, and uh, I need to get there. I really need to get out there. Um, we need to we need to make this happen. So uh, come on down. I need to I need to come out that way, like sooner than later. That'll be the one time you guys can get to do something fun with me, <laughs> since I'm only an hour from FCI. Well, then we should definitely uh, make that happen here. Yeah, let's make uh, it happen. Yep. Yeah, you heard it says, road trip there justin brown he says i do know that those kind of places could not bury the dead during the winter due to frozen ground yep. so they pile bodies up in lower levels yeah and so we have there there are two there's a cooler in the morgue and there's also a, a thicker doored freezer um they could have used you know one of those um there's a room that's further back in that area um that they more than likely at least processed bodies in because there's a large drain on the floor um and then there are what i would describe as as a two layer or a two level uh trough um that's fed by a natural spring that runs underneath the building Mm. Um, so the water that comes out of that is freezing cold and even during the winter it would be even more freezing cold so we did hear at some point that they would put some bodies in that trough and let the cold spring water run over them essentially wow to help keep them also um but yeah like justin said uh, m most all of those places if there's a winter, they were storing bodies until spring. Yep. So, wow! You know the the stream. Whenever I hear that there is an underground stream that goes underneath the building, it, it makes me think of the place where I grew up in, and when I was in high school, so there was an underground stream that went underneath there. And uh, oh, geez, it was uh, this is a pretty crazy time growing up there. So um, I know firsthand what that energy can do to a building and i lived the the condos we lived in were like large apartment buildings but they were condos so uh, imagine what that would do to such wow and then you and then they use that stream to store the bodies into probably which seems logical yeah. to me if right? if then that's just you know things that we've heard from people from the county and and right. whoever else um but also that would have been used to clean bodies um, and, you know, let blood out and things like that because it just ran straight down into the floor and out. So. so they would just like, even if they were like doing, a, 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 say, a procedure or if they were doing embalming or whatever, they would just have the, the, the guts and stuff go down into the stream underneath the pretty much there's there are two areas that would be considered like drains uh down there there's one in a room that's a little bit further back from the troughs and then there's one by the troughs so wow wow okay that's crazy stuff it is wow yeah and a fun fact that we also learned from other from like county and city officials um there, they, the county had brought before Habitat had taken over ownership. Um, a development firm had come in in hopes to just raise the buildings and do whatever they were going to do with it. Um, but they knew that there was a cemetery on the property, uh, but they brought in um, the ground penetrating radar to do some of the some of the rest of the property because obviously they would have to grade out those hills and in order to build whatever they were planning on building um and that's kind of where the whole there's probably more bodies up there comes from um 
and they actually said that they are there are people up there when the when the radar went through and the pictures came back all you can see are the round tops of skulls because a lot of them are buried in single file lines standing up so take that how you will i don't know if that's so a more efficient way of doing it or what but they're buried standing up yeah you can you can only see the top of their heads with through the ground penetrating radar uh wonder why they would do that that's not sure i don't know if you could fit more people in or what but that's they did it so <laughs> Uh, hey, what what show are we are we talking about here? Eric? Oh, I was replying to Melvin. Oh, this part that was. Uh, oh yeah, you guys were on a roll. I didn't want to. <laughs> so Aaron, Aaron wants to, wants to really really do this. You know what, Aaron? Oh, so Eddie Pence said that that his doppelganger, I can't talk today, um, was seen at Madison Seminary. That's pretty cool. I don't doubt it. <laughs> that there is a yeah. there seems to be a thing. There's there's a spirit or something there that likes to copy people and the way that they look to mess with people. Yep. So uh, I know Jeff Fent talked about uh, people talk about Jeff Fent's doppelganger being seen there. I know uh, yep. people have said that Jeff's they, Adams. Adam, I was gonna say Adams was seen there too. So it's not a doppelganger. It that's just that's that's the spirit fucking with you. I mean, it, that's what they do with us sometimes. Yeah, I suppose if it doesn't hurt you, it's not that bad. I mean, I'd be honored. I'd be like, yes, yes, <laughs> right. I was tickled that one night I was there filming some B-roll for our haunted minds, and I was there by myself uh, up in the asylum area. I heard. Uh, I thought it was April. So uh, say Eric, and I was like, "Well, I'll just wait for her uh, to get up here, you know, because I was going to film her." And then, you know, probably like twenty minutes passed, and I I was done getting all my footage. So I'm like, "Well, where the heck did she go?" So I went downstairs yeah. looking for whoever was there, and the door to the uh, to the main lobby was locked, and the door was shut. So I thought, "Well, they locked me in here." Ha ha. I knock on the door, and Tony Santori was in there. He opens the door. He's like, what's up, dude? <laughs> like, hey, uh, where's April? And he goes, there ain't nobody here but me and you, dude. I was like, oh. I was like, yeah, they know my name. So that was, that's actually cool. I'd be honored if uh, I had a doppelganger there. Maybe that means that the spirits really like the person when they do that. I hope so. I hope so. Uh oh. We have our boss lady. She just showed up. The Yay. lovely and talented Rebecca <laughs> Kirschbaum. Yeah. Her ears must have been ringing. Her ears were burning. <laughs> so she's just in time. Are you ready, Brian? I am ready. Uh oh. Uh -oh. You guys ready? Here it is. Oh, we need, we need, get, we need to get music for this. Find some sort of like creepy, like dun, 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 dun. I don't know. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. We're gonna get a cute little intro. Yeah. Uh, All right. Three, three Anything this? Blind mice. What's that? Three blind mice. Three. Students. Three blind mice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Segment of our podcast where we ask you quick fire questions. Oh. We'll let Eric go through all of his, and then we'll go to Dave's. Darn. Oh, good? No. Whoa. oh no! Whoa! Oh, no. I gotta oh, sit still. You know what? Real quick before he starts, like like when he asks these questions, like I don't know if anyone ever watches um, TikToks, but everyone knows I I do TikTok. <laughs> so like like people will go and they like they like do like reaction videos on TikToks. Like like I feel like I'm sitting here like like I'm doing like one of those reaction videos. So you guys are gonna get to see my live reactions, like like on TikTok. Sorry, go on, Brian. And if know. you're ever curious about my reaction to all your questions, it's this face right here. <laughs> Yeah. You know, I, I tried to get uh, I tried to get a picture from uh, our uh, from the uh, scary games contest. Yeah, but it says that the file's too big for um, first first um, Streamyard. 
I can I can find some good ones of us jumping. So, but I wanted I wanted just a, a picture of of you because oh great. <laughs> <laughs> I have some on my on my crap top, but uh crap top. Yeah, that's what I call my laptop. It's a crap top. Is that like a variation of a crop top, but it's like manure? No, it's just a really old laptop that I keep only for one thing, and that's Photoshop. Eric knows uh, the laptop very well, but it is now Photoshop. Called, yeah, it's yeah. It, Photoshop. It's, Photoshop. <laughs> I keep that laptop for one thing only. There's there's a special version of Photoshop that for some reason I cannot get to transfer Look his face. onto anything else. So it's, it's a completely legal it's version pink. of it. So let's not oh, that trial know. version. Not that that trial it's, version. Yeah, that's what you call it. It's a it's a version that I can't convert for some reason. I don't know why, but it won't let me convert. <laughs> um, and I. Feel like it needs someone with special skills to uh, convert it, and I, I don't know anyone that with those special skills anymore. So. I know a guy with a hammer. Well, we all know a guy with a hammer. Quit bragging. Oh, <laughs> everyone's got that guy. I understand. <laughs> How come we're now talking about he wants to be buried in a tree pot? You know what, Tom McNicholas? Hey, um, I talked about that with my wife today. I want to be buried the same way too. Just so you know. <laughs> So I don't know how that came up, but I oh he was talking again about the uh, the bodies being buried to save space. Oh, uh, that's a good idea though. Hey, talk about a haunted forest like like that that I bet that like doing a cemetery like that would put that Japanese haunted forest that suicide forest. In Jap- I don't know, maybe one. I don't know. I'm just talking on my head. <laughs> so, anyways, we were on our way before ADHD came. We were on our way diving down. All right, you ready, Eric? Oh, yeah, good luck, a good luck, buddy. The restroom for twenty minutes. No, I'm ready. <laughs> I don't think this is gonna take twenty minutes, my friend. It won't last that long. Don't worry. All right, you ready? Can I lie? Sure, whatever it takes. All right, let's get through it. Don't All lie. right, three, two, one. First investigation. Oh, uh, private ho- private residence. What sparked the idea for RU Media? Dave Wolver. What's the most memorable presentation you've given? John Carroll University. What is the location you've never been to but always wanted to go? Well, I can't remember the name of it. Next, uh, I can't remember the name <laughs> of it. Pass. Those are hard questions. No, it's uh, that, that, that prison out in, uh, that we were talking about in California. That'd be awesome. That or Myrtle's. I'll just say Myrtle's. I want to do that too. Myrtle's Plantation? Yeah. Favorite video editing software? That is Adobe After Effects. What is the most effective paranormal investigation technique? Being yourself. What's your favorite? What's that? Being yourself, but I believe being sincere. Hmm. What's your what's your favorite pre investigation meal? Oh man, Porter, <laughs> Porterhouse. <laughs> Is that what it was, Porterhouse? Well, it, you know, know. it's so many things. I, I've, <laughs> I've had peanuts. I've had beef jerky. All the all the big hits. Pizza. And, McDonald's. I've had pizza. I've had pizza. Are you going with pizza? Is that your favorite? What, what, what's, what's, what's I'll, I'll favorite? go with pizza just because I'm caught. All right. Besides your butt being touched, what's your favorite paranormal experience? Oh, uh, yeah, you got me. Um, I would say I can't think of. <laughs> I really, that was a good one, man. Quick fire, damn it. That was as quick as I go. <laughs> um, no, I'm impressed. He wants his front touched. Yeah, there you go. Um, let's let's go with Madison Seminary uh, top floor. Uh, something kind of like I don't know. Like it made me see something there. That's quick. All right. Hey, listen. Para pooch is nice and all, but if you had to create one, what would be your para animal? What? <laughs> 
Uh, that's a good one. I like uh, I like the dog. So you uh, like the dog? You're sticking with the dog? I'm gonna stick with the dog. All right. Why is your intro better than Stranger Things intro? <laughs> because it's got uh, it's got me and Dave's name in it. It's got the whole Mad Crew. I don't know. That's I, I like it. It's more personal friends, not coworkers. There. Easy. What's your most embarrassing Ectovision moment? Uh oh. Oh, Madison Seminary interview. I lift the chair and then I farted. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's a there's a clip of that somewhere. Really? Made a, who was it that did that? We did an interview and they made a they made a clip of of you farting. Oh no, I want to find it. All right, oh. of all the people you've met, whose mind is the haunt is the most haunted? Probably mine. There's always a story, Eric, and this is the last question. What's the story um, of the couch behind you? This is the couch that the Dave Wolliver slept on two weeks ago. What? Naked. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it! Buck, buck ass nude. Casting. Whoa. I knew it. I knew it I, as soon as I saw that. Whoa. Oh, All if right. you, look at it, you look at it close enough, you know my big ass can't fit on that. <laughs> Those are the 13 questions. All right. Did I win? God, I'm <laughs> nervous now. Ah. <laughs> don't, don't worry, Dave. Maybe. Wait, do maybe, I have 13 different questions? Maybe you have the same questions. Oh, no. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> all right, Dave, you ready? Go for it. All right, yeah. my friend. First investigation Prospect Place. How many people do you think fart during an investigation and lie about what made that sound? A whole cast of ghost hunters. <laughs> <laughs> What's worse, a terrible poltergeist or the OBS video system? Uh, tie. <laughs> Who contributes more percent of the work for RU Media? <laughs> Eric. <laughs> I win again. How, how did you get started in the paranormal? Uh, oh, now I'm going to be not quick fire. Uh, it goes back to experiences as a kid and then 2010 you know, watching shows and thinking to myself, hey, that would be cool. Let's go do that. <laughs> there you go. What's your favorite piece of evidence then? Favorite piece of evidence? Uh, it is an EVP from Loveland Castle from an old episode of Resident Undead that uh, myself and my wife were a part of um, where uh, she was in the dungeon and uh, got overwhelmed and had to leave. And after she left, there was no one in the dungeon. But there is an EVP with a very uh, clear woman's voice that says, you get out. And it sounded exactly like that. Oh, Lord. It, okay, congratulations. You just won the lottery. And it's enough to buy a haunted uh, location. So if you could own a haunted location, what would it be? Oh, golly. Uh, the Ohio State Reformatory. Besides sage soap, what's the best piece of equipment to use during an investigation? Yourself. What is your favorite item on the bulletin board behind you? <laughs> um, uh, 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 probably a T-shirt. No. I'll, I'll save it. There is. Let me pull this down for you. Since I'm at my office, I've been doing work before we started this. It is a koozie for transfer services at Moorhead State. Ooh. I don't know well, why it's here, but it's here. But it's here. Hey, listen, uh, who's got the best facial hair in the paranormal community? Tony Santori. Wow. Ooh. What's your what's your favorite brand of truck? Chevy. Whose mind is more haunted, yours or Eric's? Probably mine. <laughs> and, on, <laughs> and honestly, Dave, what's your most, what do you think is the most haunted location you've ever been to? Fairfield County Infirmary.
And that's all 13, folks. There we go. Woo. <laughs> I got bring, on the, bring on the fart chair. I hope you right. found that clip, Sean. Hi, it's I forgot that what show was that on, Eric? Well, I'm not gonna tell you. <laughs> oh, come on. What's the Madison name Seminary of one? He was looking what, for the chair. What's the Madison Seminary one? I lifted the chair and you hear my no, back. Well, who's, it was, it was, it was the interview that we did. Yeah. You, you well, hear like, it's like a back crack sound, but it wasn't. So, oh, I no. Was, <laughs> what was that? Who stepped I'll, on that frog? I'll go, I'll go, I'll go back to his. Uh, I'm still friends with him on Facebook. Don't don't think I won't find. I will find it. I have all night. So you pretty sure there's a now. pretty sure there's a blooper of me on YouTube somewhere at mm-hmm. Host Town Elementary School saying, uh, "I bet this will keep them away," and just <laughs> let just let one rip. I had no idea that my camera was still going. Mm. <laughs> what was it? it was it was in I was what was the name of it? Did it have like a crazy external mic attached to it or something? So it picks up like every was, little grain. I will tell you this, Brian. It was <laughs> awful. It was awful. You mean grand, right? Grand. <laughs> it was grand. <laughs> Nothing normal about these parts. It it is. Extraordinary. Hmm. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> that's gonna bother me now. Yeah, don't let it bother you, pal. No, it's gonna bother me. You're not gonna tell me. No, I gotta figure it out. Well, we, uh, you kind of know, but it's good. We'll, we'll, we'll move on. What's that? What's the name of the show? Oh no, man, we 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 set a few words. We did a thirteen <laughs> question thing. We're good now. We get to move on. <laughs> thirteen uh, questions. We we had we had this um, it, was, it was like a paranormal confessions when we um, basically when when I was graduating and we were kind of retiring um, from like the college group and and we had to get together and we were sharing a meal and we were just you know BSing and we had paranormal confessions and I swear over half of them were yeah. You know, I had pizza before the investigation, and you could hear my stomach the whole time. I was farting. You yeah, know, it, 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 it's just, you know, but like you go on these investigations with these new people, and you can't be saying that you're farting. You, you know no. what I'm saying? So, <laughs> of course, it comes out on the confessions. So, just yeah. let it ride. They're like, what was that? And they put their K2 next to your butt. Yeah. yeah. Hey, hey, can you make that noise louder, closer to us? <laughs> and they're saying, "Oh no, you don't want that." Man, what's the go- what's those guys on Supernatural talk about smelling sulfur and stuff? Yeah, yeah. A demon, demons here, guys. Listen, I'm no sensitive, but I'm give me this. Give me this salt. I need it for my pants. Darren Smith. That's Where? that's a good blooper, Sean. Where's this? Where's the uh, same Darren, stuff? Darren's uh, talking about when you screamed in the basement of RCI. Oh. Uh, yeah, that was funny. See, that's funny. That's funny. Not the other one. Oh, yeah. Wait a second, Sean. Talk about this blooper that's uh, actually yours. I so mean, you can ditch funny, it. Let's, uh... I'll say even the funnier part is when Amber was explaining it and she became unintelligible and couldn't Oh, talk. my God. I remember watching that now. That is hilarious. When she's like, oh, bah, 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 and she couldn't finish talking because she was laughing so hard. Yeah, I, I remember that. that. I, I, I remember that um, very well. Um, so what happened was, um, well, we found a... Um, Okay, so we were down in RCI in the basement there, right? And uh, What's RCI I, again? RCI uh, Randolph County Randolph Infirmary. County Infirmary, and gotcha. we were with the great Marcus Haug, and uh, we um, so I had the the RT the real time digital recorder on, and uh, um, we, jeez, so Marcus. 
Anyways, Marcus sneezed, and and it it scared me because it was loud, and I was so you know I I don't know if anyone I don't know if anyone really if anyone when you're investigating and you're like you you like feel like something's there and you're like going to like creep around the corner like you're like you just like know that something's gonna jump out at you if you know that feeling, right? So it was like that moment so we're going to walk out a door and i'm feeling something's there and it was just like a feeling like and then all of a sudden the loudest of the loudest sneeze ever it scared the crap out of me and so yeah that's that's it it was a sneeze and then and then on top of that um on on the paranormal case files they like turn it into a demon that's uh, Hollywood for you. They're like, okay. it's a demon. As, we, as you know, when you sneeze, you're expelling demons. So, And it was Marcus. Mm-hmm. Keep those two things in mind before you just, you know, kind of kick it aside. It's a possibility. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I have. Oh, what's this? Oh, come on, man. Oh, no. You could you could have found your clip. That was actually hilarious. Wait, did you forget to do that audio thing again? Look at that hair. Oh my god. So oh, that hair is so beautiful. Swoopy. <laughs> totally for the record. Oh, Sean, Sean, Sean walks straight out of Twilight. So there it is. Great. Is there no sound? No. Yeah, I can't hear anything. Oh, I mean, okay. Uh, uh, Sean, we heard it all. We're, there's no we're sound. No, well, I guess that, that settles that then, you know? It never happened. It never happened. <laughs> oh, Evie. So, yeah. The only thing that did happen is you screamed like a girl down in the uh, basement of... Um, <laughs> the only reason why I'm playing this is because you wouldn't tell me what the show was that it was on. So now, now I'm playing it. Oh, okay. But it doesn't, you can't hear anything. It's all lame. It still can't hear it? No. No, nah, it just doesn't exist. Oh my God. Wow. Why is it doing that? I don't know. Maybe God hates you or something. I feel oh, like you. Are you, are you, are you in the broadcast uh, room and you're like muting the sound? How would I do that, even? Who does that? <laughs> Who? That's funny. Like, only a genius could come up with some plan like that. <laughs> hey, so so how can people... I don't know if it's going to work. You two guys are just cool. Uh-oh. Funny. Did you say do it? Yeah, oh, whatever. Do it. Dude, let's do it. <laughs> Go up, turn, and move around the corner. Try to move that thing down, make a single noise on it. You couldn't hear it. <laughs> well, there's that. that editing skip. Listen, no, that was classy. I don't care. <laughs> that was something. Did you say do it? Yeah, whatever. Do it. Let's do it. Go up, turn, and move around the corner. Try to move that thing down, make a single noise on it. You couldn't hear it. It's- <laughs> hey, he he did not move it without making a noise. In our, in our last video, Eric made sure to to make fun of me pretty bad. So, so I did, he back. got me. He got me really good. So you know what? Do whatever you got to do. Yep. Make make a green cloud come out. I don't care. <laughs> I like the, I like the way you're I, dropping them deeper and deeper. It's like giving me more ideas. Right? <laughs> but oh, like, uh, and our we did a our best investigation of the uh, Randolph County uh, infirmary. Yeah. Um, I I I was a little bit startled. Or sneezing. So, and he, he, he made his. Did you, just, hmm? did you just tell me that you shit one because you sneezed? I did not. <laughs> no, I said a friend sneezed. And I was using the RTE 
recorded, you know, and um, yeah. it, it, it's, it scared me a little, and, and I may have yelled or screamed a little, and so Eric <laughs> made sure to put that in the video, and, and everyone had a good time making fun of me, so, so I just, think... Just to clarify, what video was that in? That was in the Randolph County Infirmary. Roughly that was our last time. one. What time of that video? Oh, seven minutes, nine minutes. Oh, in. you know what? I think I think you should just watch the whole video and watch it so you can see the whole thing. Yeah, yeah, I'm, go I'm gonna do that, but I'm actually gonna aim that quick for one back. <laughs> oh, god, <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, god. I, I can't pick on one without picking on the other. So, <laughs> <That's true. laughs> I remember the show. I, I miss these guys. Yeah, they were cool. Now, yeah, okay. the funny part also is Amber, and they're not gonna show yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> Really I might not need to part. edit the audio. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! Right. I like I like these guys. I need them for the network. Someone oh, find they're, them. They're phenomenal. They were both phenomenal. <laughs> 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 I, I scared you. Sorry. <laughs> these guys, as fantastic as it is, I love having you too. So. Yeah, that's that? that. <laughs> good times. These guys, um, the BTWN Vidcast, they, um, they're they're no longer. Um, they're both really good guys. Um, Maurice, man, he he's a ph phenomenal photographer, though. Um, yeah, but they call him Mo. Um, so. You have to see all my uh, my search. Okay, so here, uh, just because I, I'll do this, just because I did that to Eric. Uh, yeah, just just Amber's part is great. Well, I saw. I, I had the subtitle. Not list. a person I could touch, and she said that she's seen a lady in a white dress. Hey, we know that guy. Mister Muscle. A lot of investigators will experience. You heard that, right? Oh, Tom. Or maybe just making noise any way you know how. Right here. The more one of us, one by one, going to walk out there in the hallway to see what this noise is. And we have on our RT EVP recorders, so everything sounds louder to us so we can hear things in real time. Maybe we should bring the engine bell. Bless me. That was me. I'm sorry, guys. Woo! <laughs> 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 I, I scared you. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I like the slow mo on there. You hear him go. <laughs> that camera catches him walking right out the door, and you see the look on his face. <laughs> Needed some pigtails and look at the camera. It gets me every time. Okay. The look at that hair, guy. Yeah, yeah, Sean. Oh, oh, my God. God. Sean, you need to explain. <laughs> They're pretty much like a haircut's right more embarrassing than the sneeze. <laughs> so when Marcus sneezed, <laughs> it scared me. That's a cool shirt, though. <laughs> it was during this time that I realized there were actually three girls down in the basement. Oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> shots fired. You know, I know, right? Yeah, shots fired. Oh, I have my own. <laughs> oh, and then he Sean kicks serious, in at the end there. <laughs> this sort of thing happens when you're really in tune with your Oh, so yeah, let's let's forget about that haircut thing. Oh my <laughs> god. What was I thinking? Like I thought did I think that looked good? Why didn't anyone tell me that my hair looked so bad? Oh my gosh. Dude, you were looking fresh. I'm not gonna lie, man. You need to you need to bring that back. I need to bring that back. Oh my god! He needs to bring oh, that yeah. back just as bad as I need to bring my afro back. <laughs> oh, I was wow! Oh, oh yeah! Oh, please! 
Oh, wow, Brian, Brian! If you when you add me on Facebook, just go searching. There is a uh, there is a comparison photo between myself and Seth Rogen somewhere. Oh, oh that's good. That stuff. came up in one of the shows that we did. Yeah, <laughs> that's impressive. Yeah, it's uh, I see. Here's the thing: like I I grew up like I was brought up Jewish, and um, I went to school with a lot of Jewish people, and they had. Like these, the, like some Jewish people have this like really curly hair, and so they get what what they would call a Jew fro. And now I don't, because I don't want to sound like anti-Semitic <laughs> at all. But like I always wanted one. I always thought they were so cool. So you got to have a special kind of hair, I buddy. I don't, I don't, I don't have it. Holly says I have your shirt tattooed on my arm. What shirt? Oh, the Thundercats. I don't know. I think she's talking about Thanks the Thundercats. Because yeah. oh, Thundercats, that, that was a cool shirt. That, Thundercats. That's... Thundercats, oh. oh. I, I, that's, I, screamed that, I screamed that in other situations, but this isn't the show for that. Right. <laughs> so, haircut, though. And oh, so how gosh. do people, like, what's the most efficient way for people to support RU Media? Uh, right now, um, well, we do have a, I think we have a Patreon. I think we have, I think I set up a Patreon. We do have a Patreon. Um, and then other than that, if you go to, um, uh, the RU Media Network LLC Facebook page, Mm -hmm. um, and click on, uh, shop now. Yeah. That's, that's a pretty good way to support us. Um, and then you can also send donations to uh are you media network at gmail.com on paypal gotcha and all of that goes right back into you know being able to do these productions and paying monthly fees and all that fun stuff so i like it that was a nice picture of addy yeah we we had addy on ectovision before are you media before Resident Undead knew who Addie was? Snatched her. <laughs> she she got a, a photo of a shadow. Yes. And um, we were like, we need to get her in that documentary. Yep. Adam said, uh, I'm going to send you Addie Gaddis. And who would have thought, you know, that after all these yeah. years, you know, that she'd be. Uh, such a big part of our our, our right hand woman. <laughs> yeah, I did. I did have great hair in high school. Oh, so what are you saying? Are you the steel <laughs> talent? <laughs> That's going in the review. We've already Uh-oh. we've already acquired, we, we've already acquired the correct pieces. For, for <laughs> Half a crimson star down the drain. We need the crimson to come on to RE Media. That's you, Melvin. Yep, yeah. he's he's got to uh, he's got to agree here and now. I mean, no, no I'll, I'll right. steal I'll steal Melvin from anybody. Mm-hmm. All fisticuffs. <laughs> I hope it doesn't well, come to that, but no. you know, it definitely will if it has to. <laughs> Listen, always be closing. We're here to make deals tonight. Yes. Yes. Before ten, we're here to close some deals before ten. It's a so it's what's it's, it's what's best for business. We've got less than ten minutes to close this deal, guys. Well, it's not the you know it's just like the best for business. It's the best thing for you. I mean, you have all these wonderful questions. You got all these wonderful ideas. You know, let us help you broadcast those questions, those ideas, and really make a huge positive impact on this paranormal community. I like this and, Brian guy. Yeah. <laughs> just look at my face. That's the face I made the entire time I said that. <laughs> Melvin, here's the thing. Okay, he says that he's busy. Melvin, you already have a video cast that you do on the YouTube. All you gotta do is play on the YouTube and RU Media. That's it. Boom. Hey, if you really want to, you can just upload past episodes to the media network. Uh oh. I can give you your own series. Uh oh. Oh. Uh oh. I'm just a dangling it out there. Uh oh. 
Uh, we'll see. Oh, Holly's on our side. I think, you know. Shit. <laughs> I think the wheels are in motion here. I don't know if there's anything we can I, do now. It's I, out of our hands. I, I think I think that it's uh, it's kind of it's a done time. deal, isn't it? <laughs> Say, Melvin, I'll, Melvin, I'll give you access to the Facebook page, and you can just upload away, my friend. There you go. And I do nothing but help your YouTube channel. You know, not just that. It's just the people that you can affect, and that's what all of this is all about. Yep, yep. that's what when we first. St- started talking about doing originally you know this was just going to be the RU radio or are you radio or the RU radio network um, and we were essentially just doing um, like some behind the scenes podcasts of uh, resident undead episodes um, and then the idea came about of I bet we could find some more people who would love to do podcasts or live streams and give just give people a platform to be able to do what they love to do um and we don't charge anybody to be on the network there's no like dues or anything like that um you can pretty much do whatever you want on the network i mean when it's when it's your time it's it's your time um just you know we're we're pretty laid back like that so I, wow. I mean, uh, what more can I say? <laughs> well, then, with that, Melvin, I think that that you, <laughs> I know you said no in the comments, but Melvin, think about it and get back to David. You guys yeah. are talking to share some I videos. will say, the I will first say this. video could be your, um, your, your one uh, that you did for Our Haunted Minds. Yeah, I will. I will say, Melvin, you've got a spot when you want it, brother. All right. See, look at that. Look at that, Melvin. You are a wanted man. The R U Darren stands for uh, Resident Undead. By the way. <laughs> yep. It's all. It's all affiliated. This is. This is kind of a. a, a the big picture coming. Coming around now. So. Yep. So. Real quick, it's almost ending time. I got to do this. Everybody, if you have not done this yet, go and check out yes. on YouTube. Um, Brian does these videos. We talked a little bit about about it. And, scary Game uh, Saturday. Scary Game Saturday. So what's the scary game this Saturday, Brian? Um, I, I think it's like a weird 8-bit none video that is just screaming in your ears and Sean's like almost throwing the headset because it's so loud. Um, <laughs> it's a blast. Like, oh, like that's, I, said, I remember this one. This game was, uh, yeah. yeah, he was able to come over. We were, you know, you know, we were able to play a few games and just yeah. celebrate us being co hosts. And, uh, oh, it, it's hilarious. So our reactions are the best, though. So. And you released those on Saturdays, yeah, 6 p.m. Well, guess what, Brian? You just made it into the uh, into the access of the RU Media Network page, and I was serious about you guys. You know, make it make a live event out of those videos. If you're doing it at six o'clock, man, we don't have a show till eight o'clock on Saturday nights. You could have your own little, you know, live thing. You guys can interact in the comments with folks while the video's playing. Yeah, well, uh, well that's, that's a pretty cool idea. Doing some more dangling. I mean, I, you know, we're, we we do paranormal themed stuff, right? But I'm all for branching. Mm-hmm. You guys are doing the fun, the scary games, things like that. If anybody, yeah. if anybody loves horror movies or anything, you notice I said horror instead of just letting that fly. Um, mm-hmm. Basically, any anything weird and strange. You got the idea. We've got the space for you. Well, also, yeah. you know, you guys are already hosts, so this is yep. just, you know, this is just an extra game. added bonus for you guys. Yeah, because I do. I absolutely, fun. I absolutely love those videos. So awesome, awesome. Yeah, Brian, that's that's a huge testament to you, man. I just came over and played some video games, so well, yeah, that's, you. that's you your baby. Doing it. Uh, you, guys, oh, you guys, you guys now have the six p.m. on Saturday slot. 
Thanks. Maybe we can maybe we can make something work like that. Well, that's pretty yeah. cool. Um, so real quick before you guys go, where where can we find our haunted minds? Where can we find are you media network? Um, where can we <laughs> where can we find you guys and everything that you guys do? Uh, are you media network? You can find us at are you media network.com. You can find us on YouTube. You can find us on Facebook. The Facebook page is are you media network LLC. Since we became an LLC effective January 1st of the good old 2020, um, resident undead you find on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, of course, um, Myself, you can find on Instagram and Facebook if you so choose. Uh, and Eric, you can you can find him at your mama's house. <laughs> you can find me at home by myself on a Saturday night with a bottle of Jergen. Oh my! Oh, I went there. Um, I was, listen, I was impressed with the LLC, but I was even more impressed with the mom's house. God damn! Oh. <laughs> At your mind. I just need to be one of those late night radio hosts. <laughs> Diffuse talking wars. About, talking, about, talking about your mama's house and listening to smooth Kenny G. Oh. <laughs> Get one of those whiskey oh, glasses. Oh, oh. <laughs> mm-hmm. Well, there's the uncomfortable silence we were waiting for. <laughs> it is. Well, <laughs> well Eric, we we're, we're wondering where we could find you on the Facebook and where else can people find you? Well, see, I thought it got quiet because we were all imagining me on a Saturday night with a bottle of Jergens. No. And lotion. And where where you run? Where what you do in your bathtub on Saturdays is is all on you. Absolutely, it's America. Yeah, if you live stream that, we can uh, we, you know you know we can give you access to the Facebook page and we can <laughs> we can get you on board, Eric. And Ooh, absolutely no, no chance of ever world being world. monetized by I, Facebook. I, I can see the reviews now. Classy. How classy. Can um, you see it? Could I? <laughs> I do have a beautiful man voice. Well, uh, um, we, like, anyway, uh, our high minds. Yes, uh, that's on YouTube. Uh, Dave and I are diligently working, um, trying to get uh, – Get the next one out. Um, I'll be uh, editing real soon. Uh, we got some. Um, uh, we have our locations picked out. Uh, probably oh, next Eric. Week. There, Eric. There may be one more added to that list. Is it one uh, of the locations that you won at MadCon? I'm really jealous that you won that. Yeah, really yeah. Cool. I actually got that on film, so it's going to make the video whenever we release that video. So that's going to be kind of a cool thing to show, like how we won at MadCon uh, and everything and how we got to go. And uh, Yeah, there's some really cool experiments coming up. Uh, I think you... I, I thought of a couple uh, since I spoke to Dave, and Dave's kind of been tossing some ideas out too. So um, we have that and uh, more surprises that uh, I'm actually really excited about, but I can't go into much detail over of course it. not of course no but not. There's a, there's a the real, real question is did we get eric paying the bribe so that they pay they pull the name out of the hat or whatever the box was oh eddie made it i, I want the bribe i was so mad she made it impossible for us to cheat mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. i was like no, I'm kidding. <laughs> no but seriously um yeah, we're really excited about one particular surprise. Dave and I both are, and uh, that will come about. We, I don't know if we're going to tell. Uh, Does it involve a zipper? Oh, man, I Going wish. down? Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. We haven't decided if we're going to uh, release that surprise before we release that particular investigation or if we're going to kind of hold out and make everybody wait till the last minute and just kind of let it leak out that way when the video is released and hey man if you ain't got no content or uh context here i'm I, i'm just i'm just lost with uh <laughs> whole, it, I, mean, I mean come on guys it, it's it's 10 o'clock it's getting a little raunchy <laughs> no. what's going on here my, my face does not reflect what's in my photo right now <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's really an o face <laughs> yeah 
<laughs> We're going to get a cut out of this face. We're going to have it in all the podcasts. <laughs> oh, man. That's awesome. Thank you Holly, guys you for can, coming. Holly, on. you can and find fine Eric on uh, OnlyFans. He only does feet, though. <laughs> Listen, there there is a market for that. Oh, I know. I thought about it. <laughs> there's there's got to be a big market for hairy man feet. Got some nice man hairy feet. Each individual toe's got its own little feel. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> this show always takes a turn. <laughs> Oh, oh, especially when these two are on. <laughs> <laughs> so with that, I know you guys have a lot of more editing and more stuff to do. Yeah, we appreciate your time and definitely just grateful for you. So yeah, thanks for having us, boys. Yeah, thank you so appreciate much. It. Appreciate that. Well, thank you guys so much for coming on, guys. Please don't forget to go to the Hinsdale House Patreon as well. Help out the Hinsdale House um, running those locations. It's very expensive, and they help us. So let's help them. Yay. Um, and with that, thank you, everybody, for tuning in tonight. Um, you guys have a great week. Thank you for helping us over the hump of Wednesday's hump day -ness. There's a lot of humps in that. There's <laughs> a lot of humping going on. So with that, guys, have a good weekend. Uh, we're just going to play this quick little outro that Brian put together. You guys have a great rest of your week. See you all next Wednesday. Good night, everyone. This paranormal adventure that we're all on, it connects us. This is our paranormal community. This is our Paranormal Podcast with your host, Sean Gilmore. He's worked in the paranormal field for 10 years. He's a part of two paranormal teams. His passion is creating para-unity. With your host, Brian Mercer. He's worked in the paranormal field for seven years. He leads his own paranormal team. He wants to help people start their paranormal adventure or grow their existing one. This is our Paranormal Adventure. This is our paranormal community. This is our paranormal podcast. It's about supporting. It's about making para unity a real thing because we all need to support each other within our community. And that's what the show has always been about.